Welcome back, guys, to, uh, welcome back to, uh, The Fantastic Four. It's a wonderful movie. Uh, I rate it four out of four. Oh, it isn't Fantastic Four, it's Resident Evil 4. Oh, it's not Resident Evil 4, it's Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. Ha ha ha, I, I am so freaking hilarious. Okay, anyways... Yeah, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now I'm making sure you can see the whole screen, which I think you can. There we go. All right, here we go. Now that I know I can't kill the sharks, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. And I got the key, I'm bringing this, I got health, and a shitload of shotgun shells. Shitload of shotgun shells. For show. Here we go, yo, bro. You already know, ho, we finna go and defeat these, uh, foes. Yeah, I can rhyme, you already know, it's about time that I got to, uh, I don't know, I can't freestyle. Um... Uh, did I push the statue all the way in? Because there's, there's definitely a uh, green herbs back here, and I can't remember if I got them all. I think I did, though. Yeah, I did. Alright, do I go to two or do I go to three? I think I go to three. So I think I just went into the wrong room. I just went into the right room. Final Fantasy Nine Vent Victory Fanfare and other Final Fantasy Victory Fanfares. I think I like Seven's Final Fantasy Victory Fanfare the best. It's like I can't do it good my, with my mouth, but if you actually heard it on the game, it sounds amazing. And yes, I am talking about Final Fantasy. Once again, while playing Resident Evil, because that's how much I freaking love it. I do not understand why peop there's a lot of people that think Final Fantasy VIII sucks. Like, it, it's, it has mixed reviews. I love Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII is awesome. I don't like it as much as 7 or 9 or 10 or Tactics, but I do like it a lot. Um. Uh, I guess it's because of the junction system. I fall. Hi. But the junction system is so easy to understand how to use, so I guess there's just a bunch of stupid people out there that don't know how to do it. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, it's just the truth. Because it is so easy to figure out how to use the junction system. Honestly, Fi Final Fantasy VIII is the easiest Final Fantasy game there is. It's so broken, and when I say broken, I mean broken as in, like, you can break the game to make it so easy. Like, like I, I can have maximum health, like, at the beginning of the game almost. That's, that's the type of broken it is. You can't do that in pretty much any other Final Fantasy. The junction system is so, so easy to figure out. So... And, and, and that's the one thing that disappoints me about my idol, JonTron, is that he hates Final Fantasy VIII and can't figure out the junction system. <laughs> and he's not stupid. He's a smart guy. So, so, my conclusion to that is that he just didn't have the patience to figure it out. Which is understandable. Because you do have to have some patience to figure it out. It takes like, you know, 30 minutes to figure it out. So if you if you if you don't have patience, and you're not an RPG lover, and John Tron is not, 
then I, I understand. But but if you are an RPG lover and you have patience and you can't figure it out, then I would consider you stupid. But clearly John Tron is smart if he has 4.6 million subscribers on YouTube and probably close to a millionaire by now. I wonder when John Tron's gonna release another video. <laughs> About a year ago he finally released one and then he released another one after. And then I released another one after and now it's been eight eight or nine months since he released one. <laughs> he went on another hiatus. I'm talking to you and the fans on on that are watching me play this. Um John Tron's so damn funny. He's so hilarious. Like, I almost want to show you some of his episodes, because I think I I feel like you would think some of his stuff is corny. Because he's 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 in between me and Jake's age. Like, I, I'm 29, Jake's what, 27, 26? Um 27 now. And John, well, anyways, John Tron's one year younger than me, a, a little over one year younger than me. But anyways, he is uh, I think anyways. And when he started Game Grumps with Aaron Hansen, who is, I believe, like 31 now or 30, he's he's like three years older. Um, and he's also very smart. Their chemistry for their first for the first year they did King Drums was so amazing. But then John left to focus more on the John Tron show. Because he couldn't do both at the same time. He couldn't do Game Grumps in one state and go to another state and do his John Tron show. So and then a guy named Danny Avidan uh took over John Chan's place and he is super funny too. His uh he's in a band and his name in his band is Danny Sexbang. <laughs> but uh he's funny though, he's funny. He 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 sucks at games though. Like Aaron is is decent at games. John Tron is decent at games. Air, uh Danny he's good at like five games. Otherwise, he sucks. He's not. A, he's not a gamer, but he is funny. So Aaron, Aaron usually plays the game and is funny. And Danny Sexbang is just funny. And I don't know why I'm talking about that. But anyways, there's other funny people too, like. Uh, Like this guy named Colin Adams that has 94 subscribers. He's gonna make a big one day. 95 subscribers. I always say it. Everyone always starts out with zero subscribers, so you know, you never know. And I'm having a blast doing this. This is so much fun to me. 000 or 003. So, you know, even if I never get past 200 subscribers, whatever. I'm playing video games. I do that anyways, and it's fun as hell. So, there's no, lo you know, there's no losing in this situation. It's a win-win for me. I either don't get, a, don't get, don't get famous and don't get a lot of subscribers, but play games and have fun, or I do get a lot of subscribers and money and fame and play games and have fun. Obviously, I, I would choose that choice, but whatever. Um, let's see how much time. Oh, it's only been nine minutes. good because please tell me I didn't 
I meant to go in the bathroom door. Why do they have to be right next to each other? Why can't they be like one one little space away so I don't have to accidentally press it on? Like, look how close they are. The door and then the right door to the right to the right of it. Like, in real life it would make sense because... But in a game, you know, it's stupid. You might accidentally press the X on the other door. Oh, look, it's a zombie. I'm about to die. What do I do? <laughs> Dust clutch inside the bath towel is dirty. Well, now that I know that, I can beat the game. Will you take the flame rounds? And eh, I don't know. Should I take the flame rounds? Nothing special. Dust clutch inside the bath towel is dirty. Hey Luna, shut up! That's close. Yeah, okay, that's the third time I read that stupid crap. Nothing major about this wash stand. Well, thanks for that. Because of that stupid dialogue, I'm gonna waste a bullet on it. Arrgh. I always accidentally check it instead of combine because uh, the reason why is because Resident Evil 1 oh my god oh my god Resident Evil 1 has equip check and combine but all the other Resident Evils it's equip combine check so I always check on accident because I'm used to combine being there Combine, you know, to combine the shotgun with the shotgun shells to fill them up. This is the only Resident Evil where check is the second option, and combine is the third. As far as I know. And I've played pretty much every Resident Evil, even the lesser known ones. There are two Resident Evil games that I really want to play that I've never played before are, uh, well, I, I have played, but I didn't like it at the time because I was like 10 years old. But I bet I would love it now. It's uh, Resident Evil uh, Outburst and Resident Evil Outburst 2. Come on, there's got there's got to be something else in here. There is something else in here. Oh, yeah, this is where the book thing is. I take the white book out. Yeah, it's the... It's the J, uh, uh, v jolt shit um, and then since I brought the red book I wonder where the missing book is yeah I wonder let me just uh, where could it be I put a book in a shelf and a another shelf moved aside to reveal a door video game logic Another thing I hate is how people take video games too seriously, like, like stuff like that. That would never happen in real life. That's stupid. Who cares? It's a video game. Video games are supposed to not be like real life. Thanks for that. I guess I'll shoot you. Until Barry comes to save the day. Checked it. Arr, checked it again. Oh, I want to hear Barry's dialogue. Can you turn it up a little bit? Thank you. What the hell is this? Barry! Jill! Wow! 
What the hell is this? I'm pretty sure if you saw that in real life, you would freak the hell out and not casually walk up to it, no matter who you are. But that's what makes it so funny. You saved me. Yeah. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Yeah. Don't mention. What a monster. I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? Oh, is that all you get to say? Is that all you get to say, Barry? Uh, 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 uh. Right, anyways. Um. Mmm, not check. I'm fine. Alright, before I do anything, I want to pick up this key. This, because there's four keys that you need in the mansion. Three of them were in the mansion, but the fourth one is, is in this warehouse. Or this, whatever this place is. And it's right here in the fireplace. So now I gotta go all the way back to the mansion and open up the. Helmet door. I think there's only one, but there might be two. And one of them has a snake boss in them. Can I talk to you? Okay, I'm going Thanks. to stay in the soldiers area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. That's always the smartest idea. Split up. And of course you have a suspicion that there's... Of course he has a suspicion that there's other stuff in the mansion now that I found the key. Anyways, purple goo is in this floor, is in this uh, room, so uh, I think I'm gonna leave now. All right, I'm gonna save and stop. Cause I think it is at it's at the 17. In five seconds, it's at the 18 mark. Ooh, Wesker. Wesker team. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You just Such horrible the dialogue. It's I'm so sorry, cringy, but it's but so I awesome. My reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Strange Is that creatures. right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. No, it's not. Jim, our first priority is to get out of here. Wow, genius. Yes, you're right. You are. Why have you done it There are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around. And there's no clues. way I could blow up, blow up okay. one of those doors with I'll six bazookas and see if shots. I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Yeah. Besides the beginning of the game where you talk to Wesker and Barry, um. That's the, like the only other time you talk to him until the very end of the game when you find out he he's a traitor. And if you pick and if you pick Chris, like like I picked Jill, so because there's Jill, Chris, Barry, and, and Wesker. I picked Jill, so Chris goes missing. If you pick Jill, if you pick Chris, Barry goes missing. Um. I believe, anyways. I'm pretty sure. Um. 
Hold on, I'm gonna go in this room one more time because I think I'm gonna miss the Niam in here from earlier. The save room's right outside this room anyways, so. And uh, do you want me to stop this time? Yeah. Okay. You sure you don't want me to do another 15 minute one? Sure. What if I said I'm gonna punch you? Okay. <laughs> I never figured this out either. Right here. It looks like a clock dial. Three, four, five, some kind of a code. Okay. Is there more? A nine ball. Is there more? That was six, wasn't it? Come on. You saw, right? That was a six. All right, so three, four, five, then a nine, then a six. <laughs> Is that a green herb in the corner? No, it wasn't. I never really understood what that meant. I wish I did though. Alright. Oh. What's this I see? Oh, it's broken. Oh, okay, that's nice. I'm just checking for items in this room because when I came in this room all the first time, I killed two spiders and then I left right away because I wanted to go save. So I never got a chance to go look around for items. Which is what I'm doing now. And apparently there is one right here. Maybe not. Actually, I did pick up one item. It was an ink ribbon. But I figured there'd be more than just one ink ribbon. I don't know why there would just be one ink ribbon and two spiders in this big ass room. Whatever. Save rooms on the other side, sorry. Hold on, let me let me let me check and see if I missed anything while I'm here. Nothing, okay. Save room, save room. And now I can leave this place too. Because the exit's right below the save room. And I'm going to go back to the big mansion. And there's going to be really hard enemies at the mansion. Hunters that can kill you in one hit. And it's awesome. That's why I saved all the shotgun shells and, and bazooka bullets for them. <laughs> Come on, Yeah, she she messed those up this morning. And I tried to fix them, but no luck. Anyways, guys, sorry I've been talking to my dad this whole time, and not you guys. How are you guys doing? How are you five fans doing that are listening to me? Good.
Great. Screw you guys. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Eric Hartman, South Park. Anybody watch that? Funniest show ever, pretty much. Besides Family Guy, or besides uh, The Office. organizing my stuff and then I'm gonna say sorry. Alright. The clip. What are you doing? Jesus. Are you serious? Alright. Combine the clip with this clip. So I have 234 bullets for my handgun. Maybe more, I don't know. Well, yeah, more because there's 15 in the in the gun itself. Um, I have 51 shotgun shells. Wow, I can't believe this video is still going. It's at 26 minutes. Anyways. I'm gonna bring my shotgun, I guess. one full heal item because if one of these guys hits me it's gonna hurt bad